What's up guys? It's your girl Peggy here. Welcome back to my channel. It's nice to have you back here. <laughs> right, so today we're going to eat some food from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut in Singapore just came out with a lot of new and interesting food on their menu like this blossom-shaped pizza with gold flakes on it. Yeah. <laughs> But before we get into the food, if this is the first time you're on my channel, welcome! I do eating shows like this every week, so if you enjoy watching eating shows, please do consider subscribing to my channel and tap the bell icon next to it if you want to get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss any of my eating shows. Right, so Pizza Hut in Singapore came out with this new pizza called the Blossom Pizza. This is in celebration of the upcoming Chinese New Year, yeah, which is going to happen next month. Right, so this Blossom Pizza is topped with chicken ham, turkey bacon, orange slices, mushrooms, capsicums, cream cheese, and sprinkled with gold flakes. Yeah, I don't see much gold flakes on it. Okay, I see a little bit here. But uh, this will be my first time eating a pizza with gold flakes on it. <laughs> okay, and over here I've ordered some baked beef balls. One in the tomato sauce and the other one in the creamy alfredo sauce. And for dessert, we have here the hazelnut tarts. These are pastry tarts filled with cream cheese, hazelnut topped with mozzarella cheese. And finally, we have the Hershey's chocolate chip cookie, which is my favorite thing on Pizza Hut's menu. Yeah, this is so good. This is like the sex in the mouth type of good. Alright, as always, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you so much for your pledges. Thank you so much for feeding me. If you guys wish to feed me and support what I do, which is my drawing as well as my eating channel, my Patreon link is down below. Right, so in the Chinese culture, the number 8 is considered a lucky number, which is why there's like 8 petals of the pizza, like 8 slices. I say petals because I think they're trying to make this pizza look like, you know, the cherry blossom. Yeah, so there's eight petals and it's reddish because the color red is also considered lucky and it is garnished with gold flakes for luck. You know, so gold is like fortune and abundance. So this pizza here is like a very lucky pizza. It sure looks very good, so let's hope it tastes good too. Checking to see if it's focused. Okay. It's very creamy. Okay, let's try the stuffed crust. I think there's cheddar and mozzarella cheese inside. Okay, this Blossom Pizza, I would say is not bad. I like that it is very creamy because there's like a creamy base sauce. 
I think it would have been better if they had added some pineapple bits on it. Yeah, but I think overall it's pretty good. I don't really see much gold flakes on it. I think this red thing, um, I think it's breadcrumbs. It doesn't really have any taste. This pizza on its own, I would say it's a decent pizza. But if I were to compare this to Domino's Cheddarella pizza, you know, the one that I did like last month, that one is a lot better. <laughs> but looks wise i think this one looks a lot better and it's a lot more creative Ooh. all right let's go for some meatballs okay meatballs in creamy alfredo sauce This one is in tomato sauce. Mm. The meatballs are nice, but I think it would be better if they had added like a layer of cheese on top. That would have been better. Domino's meatballs are nicer. Alright, let's try this one. Hazelnut tart. This one is also new on the menu.
Okay, this one is good. It tastes just like Ferrero Rocher, but in a tart. The tart is just like the Portuguese egg tart, the crust. It tastes like Ferrero Rocher in a tart and with cheese. <laughs> Okay, this one has got some gold flakes. You see it? Not too sure you can see it, but... Oh yeah, thank you all of you for your birthday wishes. Yeah, so my birthday um, was yesterday, 6th of January, and a lot of you sent me messages to wish me happy birthday, so thank you for that. <laughs> you guys are really sweet. Yeah, so for my birthday, I went to the aquarium, the sea aquarium. S-E-A Aquarium. I think it's short for Southeast Asia Aquarium. I think I might have some footage of it. If I do, I'll put it in this video. Yeah, so I went to the Sea Aquarium. It's one of the world's largest aquarium and it's amazing over there. You know, they have like this huge viewing panel at the open sea habitat. It's like, I think 30 meters across and 8 meters in height. Yeah, so it's huge and you can just sit there and admire the fishes. <laughs> it's really nice there. If you guys do come to Singapore, you guys should check out the Sea Aquarium. It's right next to the Universal Studios. So you can just drop by the aquarium while you're there. Okay, let's eat some meatballs. Yeah, I just went to the aquarium. I didn't go to Universal Studios. Maybe next time.
yeah, it was really nice to be at an aquarium, you know, just sit there and admire the fishes. This is so good. If you like Ferrero Rocher, you'll like this one. Yeah, so this Chinese New Year is coming up in February, in the middle of the month. I don't remember what the date is, but yeah, so every Chinese New Year we have this reunion dinner 
、uh, where all our family would gather together and have dinner together. So my family's reunion dinner is very big. It's from my dad's side. My dad has got like six sisters. Yeah, so all his sisters, the kids, the cousins, grandkids. My grandfather, my dad's dad, will also be at the reunion dinner. So it's gonna be a very, like a big、um, dinner. Maybe twenty, twenty-five to thirty people, including all the kids and babies. Okay, they didn't give me a knife, so、I'm、just gonna break it in my hands. So chewy and gooey. I think today I'll be able to finish all the pizza, the meatballs, this one, and maybe half of the cookie.
finished it. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, have you guys heard of the thing with Logan Paul? Yeah, Logan Paul. I'm sure you guys heard of what's happening with him, right? Okay, it's not a good idea to stuff this whole thing in your mouth. It's like eating fudge. Yeah, anyway, Logan Paul, I've seen like short snippets of the videos of him in Japan. <coughs> yeah, I've seen that on other people's uh, videos. They were talking about him. So he was like behaving very inappropriately. It was really embarrassing to watch, to be honest. Okay.
Now this <clears throat> this reminds me a lot of Subway cookies. It's like a giant version of Subway's cookies. And keep going. Seems like my appetite is back. all over my mouth Let's just finish this.
All right, let's just finish this. <laughs> I really didn't think that I could finish today's meal, but <laughs> I did. My appetite is back. <laughs> because in my last video, I couldn't like, I couldn't eat at all. You know, because I was still recovering from that spicy noodle challenge thing. Okay, that blossom pizza. I would say it's a decent pizza. It's it's pretty normal. It does look very good, you know, with the red um, crust and the gold flakes and um, the orange slices. It does look very good. It's very presentable, but the taste is is just all right. You know, it's not super good or anything like that. If you were to compare that to Domino's Cheddarella pizza, Domino's pizza is a lot better. <laughs> But it's still alright, you gotta give them extra points for all the creativity. Okay, thank you so much for joining me in today's Pizza Hut video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this meal, especially the dessert, that um, hazelnut tart. Yeah, that one is really good. It's like Ferrero Rocher in a pastry. Yeah, and the pastry is very flaky and crispy, so that's good. And of course, this is good too, the Hershey's chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, it's so good that I can finish it even though I'm like so full. Okay, that's it for today. I'll see you all in my next video. So until then, take care and love you. Bye!